In this example, <clears throat> we would like to find the derivative of sine cubed x. Uh, for clarification, this notation, sine cubed x, or sine of x quantity cubed, means this, sine of x quantity cubed. It's just a little bit less clunky to put the 3 right there instead of using the brackets. So that's what we see here. However, with the brackets and this slightly more clunky expression, it's more visually obvious that we have a composition with the sine of x <coughs> as the inside and the th third power as the outside. It's the sine of x inside and being raised to the third power. So the chain rule is used to find the derivative of a composition like this. And we um, take the derivative of the outside and multiply by the derivative of the inside. So we take the derivative of the outside, that's the third power, 3 times the quantity sine of x to the second power, that's the derivative of the outside. And we take the derivative of the outside, we have to remember to leave the inside in. That's this sine of x was inside of the original function, and it's inside of the derivative. And then times the derivative of the inside, the derivative of the inside is cosine x. So using the less clunky notation that we originally started with, this is equal to 3 times sine squared x times cosine x.